Pizza fam, Coach Rock from Team Flex. We got an update today on the Bikini Olympia. Some pretty big news coming out about uh, pretty much who I assumed would come in and take the title of Bikini Olympia 2024 pretty easily, and that's Maureen. So you guys, Maureen, she is out of the Olympia. It is a pretty crazy development here. She posted it yesterday after I'd already made my prediction video, of course. Um, so she apparently had sustained some type of injury to her foot and thus she is not competing. This is a very interesting time for bikini right now because this means basically we're going to have, you know, a brand not top of the two that's been going to Olympia for a bit be champion, right? Because we had Jen Dory and Maureen kind of playing back and forth and they were the two to basically, you know, without contests go retain those titles this year they're both out. So Jen's not competing. We already knew that. Now Maureen is not competing just, uh, you know, a day out. So pretty crazy development going on in bikini division. Uh, this means we will pretty much probably be seeing, you know, potentially a new bikini champion. However, now I got to redo my bikini predictions, which has actually just changed now based on the fact that Maureen is not going to be there. Because what you guys don't understand about judging, right, is, uh, or I should say a lot of people don't understand about judging is that, a lot of how things go is based on who's competing, right? Like the look and the way things look and how people look next to each other can actually change how a show is going to go just based on who's actually there. So, you know, by having a Maureen in the lineup, that means that the judging can shift a little bit more towards that type of a look versus others, right? So now that we don't have Jen or Maureen who are bringing basically the very consistent bikini look, we're going to have, uh, you know, new champion in my opinion, right? As far as what's going to go. So let's take a look. I'll redo my predictions real quick for you. Just hang out with me. We're going to look at the Instagram and we're going to go through. Um, and I want to know what you guys think based on Maureen not being in here. Do you think, who do you think is going to win? Who's going to be bikini Olympia champion? So uh, let's run through this quick. Isa, okay. Isa, I still think will place in the top five. I think she's probably still going to remain in the fifth place spot, which is what I gave her uh, in the last lineup, you know, she's been kind of, in my opinion, a little bit out of balance here and there. She's came a little bit dominant. doesn't mean she can't come back and, you know, pull that off. I mean, being anywhere in the top five, we're talking about points to shift these placings. You know, she may be able to pop in here and uh, just go rock it, you know, place higher than that. But based on what I have seen of her doing in competitions and what we're looking at here on Instagram, you know, I would say she's probably more so going to be in that fifth place spot. We'll see if she's corrected any of those kind of, you know, imbalances in a sense. Ashlyn joins the lineup at number four for me now. Okay, so she would have been one that I would have put probably like six, seventh prior to this. Now I'm going to put her up in the top a bit because I think her look kind of goes more in this lineup now, right? A little bit more of uh, that muscle development look, that compacted, you know, type of muscle on the frame that is very dense and a lot of shape. I think that's going to be very favored now in this lineup. Um, so I'm putting her in here at fourth for now. I think that she has potential to come in there and, you know, take that. Could be even higher, maybe even a third place for her, but she is jumping into this lineup now at least in that top five, in my opinion, either way. And I think we will see that. All right, you guys, real quick. So obviously it's Olympia weekend coming up and we're pretty notorious for doing some of the biggest giveaways in the sport of bodybuilding. And we got to do it again this year. So we're going to give away one month free coaching of our ultimate competitor program. It's our top tier premier program that all of our athletes use beginners to pros all around the world. No matter where you are, you can be eligible to win this and you get one free month access to work with me or one of my coaches. We'll guide you every single step of the way just as if you're a normal paying client and we're doing that for free we're going to give away literally 30 spots of this okay 30 of you watching right now will win one free month of our ultimate competitor coaching package and uh, that's very exciting so all you need to do is go down there get on the email subscribe put your email in and we will contact you if you win all right and we're picking winners right after the olympia next week so be ready it's a great time to get on this list get a free month of coaching no obligation no payment info nothing literally it's our give back we do it every year for the bodybuilding community and that's what we want to do that's the whole point we do this channel so if you like what we do here you will really really like what we do with the coaching get your name and your email 
on that list below and we'll contact you if you win. All right, thanks. Back to the video. Let's take a look over at Amy now. Amy in third. I'm still holding her in third at this point. I predicted her third at the last thing. She's got a very good shape, very good overall frame for this. Um, it is a type of look that will be favored in this lineup. She placed lower last Olympia, but now, you know, with uh, these champions uh, and Maureen, you know, Jen being out of the mix, we're looking at, you know, her jumping up and potentially being, you know, in these higher slots here. Could be third, could be somewhere in there. I would definitely put her from three to five some point at that point. Remember, it can be down to points, how these athletes peak and how they look coming in. Now, this is where we get interesting, right? So um, I'm going to say... Laura Lee in second. Okay. So Laura Lee was my second place pick and you would think automatically I'd bump her up. I just think there's a high chance that, you know, Laura Lee may not be able to bring in the perfect uh, peak. I mean, it, we've seen it a few times. We've seen her look off. She won the Arnold. So that's a great position to come into. She's definitely going to be top two. She has potential to win. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I just wonder if she's corrected any muscle imbalances that we've seen. And also, again, she is like, you know, in a lineup of apples, she is kind of an orange, you know, in a lot of ways. She has a very different structure, a very different kind of look, a very different overall frame. It is still very much in the criteria, but she is consistently, you know, um, a little bit out of the lineup as far as look goes because of her frame and her muscle density and things like that. And, you know, we've seen her come in very often where the peaks just not 100% correct, looks a little off, seen a, a little bit of muscle imbalances here and there. So she's corrected that. She could win. She could definitely be our champion, our first place winner. Um, and that would be a very exciting time for Bikini because she's been in the top forever. I predicted her to win, you know, Olympia at some point. Maybe this is the one. I don't, however, think that it will be at this point. There's just too many unknown variables, right? We haven't seen a very consistent look from her for long enough to know that that's what's going to be there. And maybe it will be. But I think that actually now, based on this lineup change of Maureen not competing, we already knew Jen was going to be there. I think that it could be the return of Ashley Kaltwasser, okay? Like, she has been consistently in the lineup. Um, she has consistently won, you know, pro competitions. She's the most winning bikini pro of all time. She has a very good look, a very balanced look. I did a lot of competitions, reviews of her this year. And, I mean, she's made a ton of improvements. Her shape is there. Her size is there. Her conditioning's there. I mean, I think overall – She's got a very perfected, you know, look and physique at this point to where with the drops of Maureen and Jen not being at Olympia, this, I mean, she took third last year. This automatically gives her a very, very good shot if she brings it in just right to come here and do some serious damage. And it would be a, quite an epic return for her considering she's the former three-time Miss Bikini Olympia already. And it's been a while, but, you know, for her to come back and her to take that title again, it could be a really cool uh, you know, almost return to where we were some time ago in the sport and in the division for bikini. So I think Ashley K has a serious shot. My top two either way is definitely going to be Laura Lee and Ashley K. And I think Ashley may just be able to pull off this win and come in first um, for this. So I want to know what you guys think. I know my predictions get a little wild just changing it. That's part of the fun, you guys. Like, I like to throw things in there, you know. I like to imagine what could become because that's really what Olympia is all about. That's what bodybuilding is all about, right? When you look at your physique and you say, okay, I want to be doing this. I want to make this improvement. I want to add muscle here. I want to change the shape of that. You're imagining what the future can be. And that's the same we're doing with Olympia and, uh, you know, competing, bikini division, all of this, right? going to be a really cool thing to see how it plays out we're getting very very close now so we're going to get this video up quick and make sure you guys are watching and you're paying attention to what's going on um and we'll see who wins i want to know in the comments give me your top five give me your number one go ahead drop it down and let's see what happens at olympia thanks for watching coach rye is out